Hi, it's Alaska Granny. If you've been to the store lately, perhaps you've run into some more waves of panic buying. Maybe you've noticed there's shortages in the stores. Some of the shelves are thin or bare. Prices are higher and people seem to have another level of anxiety. And it harkens back to the beginning of the pandemic when we weren't sure what was going to happen. And these have continued in waves of shortages, waves of anxiety, waves of bare shelves, and the price is going up. Someone once told me chaos is a ladder, so you need to think about it as it can keep going up, but if you're aware of it, you can try to bring yourself back down, so you can try to remain calm. So what are some tips for surviving during panic buying? Well, first of all, you want to go to the store with a list, with an idea of what you want to get, but also be flexible. If you can't get the things you want, what can you find that might be an appropriate substitute? You also want to make sure that you have your budget in mind. Don't go into debt over prepping because that just will create another level of chaos on your ladder. You want to spend what you can afford and don't panic. So part of that is having a plan and a strategy. When I went to the store the other day, it was so crowded and the lines were so long that I thought it would be a good strategy to shop in pairs. One person could hold the cart and get in line, and the other person could go around, gather the things, come back and put them in the cart, and you're moving up through the store, and you don't have to maneuver your cart past all the other people. But it isn't always possible to shop in pairs. But if you can, see if that strategy might be something that could help you find the things you need and get out of the store safely in less time. When you go to the store anymore, it's almost like a hunt and gather. You have to search and find the things that you want or an appropriate substitute. One of the items that I try to make sure I have plenty of is bottled water. And if you don't have plenty of that, pick it up, get some extra, fill up an extra container, but put away a little extra. Then make sure you also have a way to purify water, even if it's just a bottle of bleach some way that you have a water filter or some water purification tablets, a bottle of bleach, something that will help you purify water if you should in an emergency use up the water that you have or the water coming into your house becomes contaminated. Then still be thinking of the basic long-term foods. Maybe you can pick up a box of oatmeal, a bag of rice, a bag of beans. You can fill your own clean plastic containers you can put them into a clean canning jar. You don't just need to stock up on gigantic bags of beans, rice, oatmeal, pasta, and other long-term foods. You can still be gathering them a little at a time. And sometimes when there's panic, you may find that some of those items in the small bags might still be available. If you can't find the fresh produce that you want, look in the frozen and canned. And then don't forget to look for dried fruit options. These are going to give you a nice long-term option that's going to last for quite a while. Then if you should go to the canned foods, make sure that you're getting a variety of foods that can last for a long, long time. When I went to the store, they actually had the cases of food that they had just put out. So I grabbed 12 cans of tomatoes and they're low salt, which is nice because so many of the canned foods have a lot of sodium in them. And I also found uh, 12 cans of ranch flavored beans. And these are nice variety because they already have a sauce in them and so you can mix them up in different ways than just a plain old can of beans. I think they're handy and I've made a few different recipes with them and so I like them. If you see a food that you've never tried before though, a good strategy is to just buy one and take it home and try it. And if you like it, you can go back and get more because you don't want to end up with a, a large supply of food that you don't like. That's a waste of your food storage dollars and your storage space. Look also for the longest lasting foods like from Augustine Farms. When I was in the store, they had the bell peppers and these are a very nice way to have vegetables that can live in your pantry for many years. You can open them and use them if you want. Once you open them, they only last about a year. But if you keep it unopened, it has a 25 year shelf life so that you have food that you can count on 
no matter what the future brings. But remember, you don't have to put these away forever, but you can and know that they will be there and they'll last. Always be adding to your prepper pantry and your food stockpile because once you build it up, if you should go to the store and there are very few things available or very few things that are affordable, you can just be topping off. You can be adding a little more. It won't be a catastrophe if you can't get everything on your list because you still have a buffer of supplies at home. Also be thinking about cleaning supplies. Do you need laundry soap? Do you have enough dish soap? Do you have enough hand soap, toothbrushes? All of the hygiene supplies. Be adding to all the different categories of prepping over time so that you're building up and rotating your supply. Preserve whatever foods you can get. Sometimes you might find an abundance of something but you can't use it all before it could spoil. So maybe you can freeze it. Maybe you can dehydrate it. Maybe you can can it or even ferment it. Think about the options with the foods that you have and think creatively. What can I do with this to make it last the longest so that I get the most use out of my food? Then think about ways that you can grow some food. Everybody doesn't have a great big yard or live on a homestead, but you don't have to. If you have a sunny window, a patio, a balcony, somewhere that you could grow a few things for yourself. If you can find seeds, get some. You can even find them at places like the Dollar Tree for, for a dollar. And this is the time of year when we want to find seeds because spring is here, summer's coming. That's when seeds are available. If you wait too long, they may not be available or it may be too late in the year for you to grow some things. But you can always put some herbs in a little pot on your windowsill and herbs and spices are going to help flavor your most basic foods. So even if you only have beans and rice, you can add some of the fresh herbs out of your own little garden to add flavor and variety to your meals. You can also try sprouting some seeds. You can have simple lid that goes right onto an empty canning jar and you can sprout your seeds right in there. I made a video on how to do that and I'll put a link to it in case you wanna learn how to sprout some of your food so that you can still provide fresh food and variety to your family. Then keep a positive attitude. Think of life as challenges, not traumas. Don't think about this is the worst thing that happened to me today. Just think about the successes. What did I find? What was I able to put away in my prepper pantry? Look at each day as a challenge. Try to learn something new. Figure out how to use something a new and different way. Because the more ways you learn to use the things that you have, the more things you actually then have. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.